Hi, this is part two of the Teensy Boy tutorial series I'm making with Catskull Electronics. This time, I will be covering how to send MIDI note and control data to the Game Boy using MGB in order to play the sound chip using an external sequencer, in this case, the Octatrack. So let's power it up. As before, we can use the buttons to change the mode to mode five, which is MGB mode. That's written on the PCB itself, which is very helpful. Okay, so now that I've got everything connected, I can set up a few through machines on the Octatrack. I've got the left and right outputs going into separate through machines. This way I can pan the channels in MGB and send them through different effects. And the MIDI mode on the Octatrack, I'll set the channel for each track corresponding to the numbers at the top of the MGB interface. For this video, I'll make channel one the lead, pan to the left, and the rest pan to the right. As you can see, this can be changed in MGB itself, but there is also a MIDI control message to set the panning. All right, now everything is set up, we can start by programming a baseline on the wave channel. In MGB, the wave channel can be set to a few different preset shapes. I've set it to sawtooth for now, but I'll show you how to control this later. Now we can set our control change messages on the Octatrack to match those in MGB. In the MGB interface, selecting different parameters will display the MIDI CC number in the bottom right corner. For this video, I'll be controlling just the wave shape, offset and sweep parameters for the wave channel. Conveniently, these are assigned to MIDI CCs 1, 2 and 3. So for simplicity, I will assign them to the first three CC encoders on the Octatrack. As you can see, changing the parameter on the Octatrack will send it through to the MGB interface. Okay, now let's add a lead on the first pulse channel. I've set the parameters up in the same way as on the wave channel. But this time I will add an LFO to control the pulse width. I'll also set the envelope parameter from the Octatrack instead of using the MGB interface. On the second pulse channel, we'll add another melody, this time an arpeggio. As before, I've set the MIDI CCs and will control everything from the Octatrack.
and similarly I'll set an LFO to control the pulse width. Now one thing to keep in mind is that CC number 3 on the second pulse channel doesn't do anything, as the sweep command only works on pulse 1. Now, onto the noise channel. I'll use this just as a layer underneath a snare sample that I'll add later. There aren't as many parameters for the noise channel as the others, so I'll just assign CC2 for the envelope. I'll also use a one-shot LFO assigned to the pitch bend control in order to give it a bit of a tone envelope. So I'll just use that noise to sort of accentuate what if we end up putting in on the audio channels. So that's it for the sequencing side of things. Now it's time to add some other drum sounds and add effects to the Game Boy channels, and then have a bit of a play as I usually do. Thanks for watching.